Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more BD Army. Today we are taking a look at Entirely Electric Fighters, all inspired by this, the Mariana Solar by X Marshall, uh, a submission to a recent mailbag stream where it uh, made quite the impact. It uses a pair of ion engines clipped into each other, uh, powered by the solar panels on the top wing surface, and it produces a ridiculous amount of thrust. Um, needless to say, this is all, you know, an exploit. Uh, this is using a pair of the Cal 1000 controllers to take advantage of a, a little exploit you can do to produce stupid amounts of thrust with those ion engines. Normally, two ion engines would barely be enough to get you down to the other end of the runway. So this inspired me to make my own purely electric combat craft, uh, without the hacks, uh, which I did in the most recent Smith Builds livestream, link in the description, and I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. So this is the solution I came up with. This is two uh, two fans using um, the uh, the standard rotors, part of vanilla, well, I say vanilla KSP, part of the uh, some of the DLC content. Uh, this is about to get technical. If you want to kind of skip this stuff to the explosions and the fun, then I'll, I'll put a comment or a timestamp or a, a caption or something. But yeah, things like fans and rotors and propellers made using the rotors like this in KSP. Yeah, they're a tricky thing. They have, um, they're only really efficient within a narrow range of speeds dependent on their angle. Uh, if you're going too slow, they'll produce next to bugger all thrust. If you're going too fast, they'll they'll act as a brake more than anything. Um, uh, so, ideally, you'd want a way to change the the pitch on these uh, fan blades depending on your forward speed. Now, at the moment, there's no way to do this in KSP, or at least none that I've come across during some research. Um, the best I could do was actually uh, put all these fan blades, twenty four fan blades. They're actually sort of in. Um, in three sets of eight using the, the sort of eight-way symmetry. So one set of fan blades um, is set to an angle of 27. That's sort of a low speed, um, that's sort of the low speed one to produce um, lift for taking off. And then you sort of get 36 degrees and 45 degrees, just so as it increases speed, we reach, you know, the speeds at which the next one becomes more efficient and then the one at which the next one becomes more efficient. And, it's not ideal, but it's the only way so far I've, I've found to make it work. If you're doing this manually, if you can actually just manually attach these to the throttle, it's fantastic because then you can just gradually increase the angle as you head up towards your top speed. And using this thing, I've managed to get um, over 200, uh, 280 meters per second, by which point the, uh, the, uh, the blade angle is um, about 65 degrees. But I want the AI to be able to use that, and that's not really an option, so this, as I said, is kind of the best I can come with. It's pretty good, pretty good, does the job. In fact, let's um, let's go see how well it does the job. Just a simple 3v3 then, my little electric drones up against the cyclone, the original cyclone, just to give them a reasonably easy first test. Let's um, let's get them into the air. Oh, and these do a really weird thing where you have to go in and sort of manually, oh god, where is it? turn the um, turn the brakes off otherwise they won't fly okay here we go yep see pretty good thrust to start with and then yeah as we sort of get faster and faster we get into the more efficient ranges of um, some of the uh, higher angle blades and yeah we top it up at about 165 meters per second which isn't bad for combat speed I mean yeah oh by the way if anyone's wondering why I chose that exact angles, it's because my OCD insisted on having them sort of equally spaced, and with the sliders being the pain in the ass they are, that's that's the best I could do. Ideally I would have wanted 25, 35, 45, it, anyway, yes, here comes. The competition's starting. Now these things have a very low radar signature, and are also practically invisible on infrared as well, so they pretty much get, yeah, they're rain of the skies when it comes to the missile phase. Also, yeah, the incredibly in, uh, imaginatively entitled Electric Proto. This, is, it's, as I said during the stream, is more uh, a proof of concept. There's plenty more I kind of want to do with the whole purely electric vehicle thing. Okay, the uh, the Cyclones avoiding, uh, avoiding the infrared missiles so far. I have done tests, I've done a few tests with, uh, with this pairing and they do... Um, just the ability to get all your missiles away first really does help. These cyclones are going to be very, very laden down with missiles. Oh my god, one of them has been hit with, um... One of them's gone. One of them's gone. Let's switch to the dogfight cam. It's a bit of a joust. 
What on earth is this dogfight cam doing? Yeah, something's that's that's blown up quite thoroughly. One of the electric drones on the tail of GT Kerman. Missile goes flying just behind him. Doesn't do any damage, manages to avoid it. Does get a little bit of a scraping along his rear end. Another missile doing nothing. It seems to have had its missiles blown off though, which <laughs> an inadvertent favor done to it by my, uh, by my electric craft. Electric craft trying to line up the shot. The one problem with the electric craft is because the thrust is still a little iffy. And that means they can, um, yeah, occasionally swerve out and crash into the ground. More missiles. Yeah, went straight past. Nothing doing. This thing is being thoroughly Swiss cheese, though. The drone's not managing to get sustained enough hits to actually do something. It is the last. It's the last cyclone left. It's missing a control surface. Yep, three of them on it now. And it was only a matter of time before that happened. So they can work. As a proof of concept, yeah, I think they, they, they've done their job uh, admirably, but... I think the next step is to see, see if we can get a manned fighter using this. And this is my first attempt at doing just that. Um, yeah, hang on. Oh god, we've got that particle effect bug from the uh, from the cyclones um yes so this is uh, unlike the uh, the twin fan this is a single counter rotating fan this also has the turning bug <laughs> yeah this thing ended up being a lot heavier um i tried to keep the weight down as much as possible i gone for a much smaller missile though but once you start once you've got two of these rotors going full whack and you've got all these solar panels the weight of those really does start to add up by the way um for those of you who are watching the bit earlier, the boring bit, and uh, in any way, shape, or form interested, which I'm guessing isn't most of you, uh, I've gone for like a 30, 35, 40 degree configuration on the blades, uh, which tends to leave it a little bit short of power at the, the, um, the lower speeds, but I sort of needed it just to get that top speed where this thing is, as I said, quite a bit heavier. Also, for some reason, it really helps when you start the competition if you take the brakes off of these things. And this thing also tends to get some weird bugs for some reason. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens here. This is going up against my Cyclone. I think I accidentally sent my drones earlier up against the version of this without missiles, so they had an easier time of it than this, um, the Icarus, as I called it, is going to have. Let's, um, let's see what happens. And the competition starts. They seem to be doing this weird thing where they really don't want to gain altitude. Like Josh Kerman there, getting very low, and then decides suddenly he needs to pull up. Not in any hurry to turn round, or get away missiles in any way, shape, or form. Just happy to just carry on. If selected weapons... Yeah, I haven't seen them do this in testing. I've done a few fights with these. Never have they done this specifically. Dodging missiles, some of those are a bit close, but managed it in the end. Still just happy to dodge for the moment. I'm not sure exactly, I I haven't seen this bug in these in testing, I also haven't seen this at any point with the drones, so I'm guessing I made a mistake somewhere with my, um, somewhere with the, uh, with the settings. Okay. But they have come around, all three of them are now firing missiles at the Cyclones. And getting guns away. So this could actually work. I mean, this, this as an idea could actually work. Successfully getting uh, getting sidewinders away this time. Oh god! Also, these things are a pain in the ass to get, like, get this configured so that the actual, yeah, the whole electrical situation works. Because where they're not carrying any fuel. Oh my god! Into a little bit of a spin. And as I said, at the lower speeds like this, they sort of don't have the power to. Oh no! They were doing so well. They were doing so well. Oh no! Oh god. I fear my attempt to make them, um, to give them an extra bit of power 
at higher speeds. <laughs> May have been ill-advised. Oh, this thing, one of its fans is, is, is gone, is shot to hell. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, God. So, some work to do on the concept. <laughs> I don't know what the hell was going on there. I mean, you saw with the drone, the actual... The drone did all right. The drone did not do that at all. Ah. Uh, okay. Some kinks to iron out. A lot of kinks to iron out, but I think, I think, as I said, I want to do a lot more with this. I have some ideas. I have some bold ideas, so I'm not too fast that that didn't work too well. <laughs> I am going to get this well, that working properly. I am going to get that working properly. But yes, that will be all for today. If you've enjoyed watching me fail quite hard, then please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, uh, maybe following me on Twitter, possibly getting involved with the Discord, uh, Great BD Armory and KSP community on there, and more besides. Uh, all those links in the description, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon. You too can get your own little patron curve, well, like Watermelon Curve on there, uh, as well as um, access to the Patreon only Discord, access to all the other stuff I've uploaded to Patreon, which isn't very much at the moment, let me warn you. Um, and all um, all of your money does go towards helping me to make more and better content for you guys. Um, so yes, damn it! Why did they do that? <laughs> I'll sort them out. I'll get them working, and we'll see them again at some point soon. Uh, until then, though, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>